right, so today I, I want to test something out. I'm pretty positive I know the answer to this, but I just want to test it out anyways, and I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you probably want to know as well. So I'm thinking, you know, I do have a, um, uh, an, uh, what is this, uh, an X8, which does 32-bit float uh, recording. Um, so my thought is, what if I put a wireless uh, transmitter into this, um, well, if I put a wireless transmitter into this, do I still have the 32-bit float capability? Now, honestly, I'm not 100% sure. My guess is that um, the wireless signal might not have all the data in it, and it might, you know, stop at a certain point. Um, but if you're not familiar with what 32-bit float recording is, essentially, it's like raw, raw photos. You know, you can adjust the highlights and the shadows and find all this detail. It's kind of like that on the audio side, that if it's so loud, <clears throat> if it's so loud and it's distorting, you can actually turn it down and recover all that data. And, and if it's too quiet, you can raise it all up and it's like, like you set the, it's like you set your levels perfectly. So I'm curious to know if, if that's actually gonna work. Uh, and honestly, I, I'm not even 100% sure. Uh, so I figured I'll do the test. So for my testing here, um, I have the, uh, the X8, uh, and then I have um, my wireless road goes here. Um, and I'm thinking I can go like this, put this like that, right? And then um, turn this on. And let me just see about plugging headphones in. Give it a quick listen. Huh, there's definitely like some interference. It might be my head. Let's, uh, all right, test, test, test. Oh, it, it sounds terrible in my, in my headphones, but that's all right. That's what it's supposed to do. So what we're gonna do is we wanna do input. Actually, I gotta hit back and then hit record. There we go. All right, it's a quick test to see if we can recover audio. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a test to see if we can recover the audio. And as you can tell, it's peaking because it's red right here and the levels are through the roof. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Now, uh, I do have, um, so with this headphone, uh, I got a, a microphone here. This is the... Uh, the F2, uh, which also has 32-bit float recording. So what we can do is test the two and, and see how they sound. I should be able to recover all audio if it's peaking or not. There's no gain settings on this microphone. You just hit record and you should be able to fix it all in post. So let's let's dive into post and, and see what we can do. I'm gonna do file. We're gonna open and where is it? Is it this one? F. Which one's F? F, X8, sound. This is a mix, so it takes all the inputs, but we only need this one. Ooh, you can tell, see how it's, see right here, it's just like really flat. Let's see what it sounds like. There we go. All right, it's a quick test to see if we can recover. Oh God, yeah, that sounds absolutely terrible. So the easiest way to do this is just kind of turn down the gain Test one, two. I think you need to turn it down even more. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a second. Is it actually working? You can recover audio. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. There's the test to see if we can recover the audio, and as you can tell, it's peaking because it's red right here, and the levels are through the roof. No! It actually works! Hold on! Let, let me... Let me... Let me restart this. Alright, so this is what it sounds like. This is what it would sound like if it was peaking, and you couldn't fix it, right? Let's, let's listen to how bad this sounds. Gord. There we go. Alright, it's a quick test to see if we can recover audio. Test one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a test to see if we can recover. You know, we should also do a, a quiet test because you should be able to also bring it up. It actually doesn't sound bad. Um, maybe I need to make it louder? Like the audio, and as you can tell, it's peaking because it's red right here, and the levels are through the... It doesn't sound terrible. I mean, it sounds a little... I can't tell if those are my speakers or just a crappy microphone, but... Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a test to see if we can recover the audio, and as you can tell, it's peaking because it's red right here, and the levels are through the roof. Hmm. I don't know. Let's... Let's set this up again and do it real quiet like this and see if we can boost it all. I don't know. I, I, I'm not really sure if that's working or not. <laughs> it's, all right, let's try it again. I'm getting kind of anxious here because it sounds like it might, it actually might work. So I'll take this, plug this in, plug this in. Um, what we can also do is hit, um, hit input. Hit this, hit high, and then I want to see if it sounds completely miserable in here. It should. Oh, it sounds. There's definitely some uh, really bad audio. Oh, God, that sounds horrendous. Oh, no SD card. Okay. All right, so... All right, so now this is definitely peaking. It's completely red throughout everything, and it sounds like terrible trash in my headset. So this is a test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna um, we're gonna hit stop. We're gonna change the input here. Whoops! Don't want to do that. Want to do this and put the gain. I want to put the gain down real low to see if it can be recovered. All right, I want to put the gain down real low to see if it can be recovered. Theoretically, you should be able to recover this when it's really low and it's barely even registering, as you can see on here. So we'll see if it's able to be recovered. This is a test one, two, three. Okay. All right, so let's let's see about this. Now, that was definitely peaking out. I wasn't sure if that was 100% peaking when uh, the first test here, but uh, well, we're gonna find out. So now let's open this thing back up. Open. Now let's do, so this one, timestamp, okay, it's the first one, it's the second one. So this one should be, look at this. This looks like hot garbage, see this? Okay, so now let's listen. All right, so now this is definitely peaking. It <laughs> yeah, that's definitely loud. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to, where's my mouse? Uh, we want to turn the levels down to see if we can make that sound better. What's interesting, you see, you see as you bring it down, there's still data here. I wonder if it's actually going to work. It's completely red throughout everything, and it sounds like terrible trash in my headset. So this is a test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna come. Um, we're gonna. Are you kidding me? So <laughs> there's no way that if you're watching this, you thought that was gonna work. I did not think. Let me let me do this one. I'm actually so essentially you get you make a wireless receiver. Is that is that what I'm getting here? The data gets transmitted, and the recorder is actually recording. That is absolutely bonkers to me. All right, let's open up another one. Let's try the really quiet one. So the other benefit of this, see how this is. Really, I don't even be able to hear it. Can't even hear it. So now you should be able to, whoops, wrong way. Ah. All right, I want to put the gain down real low to see if it can be recovered. Theoretically, you can recover this when it's really low and it's barely even registering, as you can see on here. So let's see if it's able to be recovered. Anyone else surprised by this? I'm, I'm shocked. This is going to be so great for recording weddings that you don't even have to set gain on this. Anymore. You don't even have to set the levels. 
Just go over there, plug this on the groom or the my wh whoever, and you're ready to rock without even worrying about levels. Because you, as you can see here, it's super quiet. Listen how good that sounds. I, I mean, I was barely talking. Watch. That is just, I can even turn it up more. Should be able to recover this when it's really low and it's barely and even registering, as you can see on here. So let's see if it's able to be recovered. This is a test. One, two, three. And the other benefit when it's real quiet, you don't hear the hissing, right? You know, typically if you just go to record, record like into the uh, a normal uh, recorder, you turn it up, you hear this, this hissing noise. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I'm super stoked. So there you go. You got it. Uh, I clearly, it does. I guess the wireless signal does transmit enough data that the recorder can actually recover um, peaking or really low uh, levels. So yeah, I'm actually really excited for this. So uh, yeah, if you got any questions, you want me to do some other tests? Maybe maybe I did something wrong. I'm not really sure, but this seems to work very well. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm I'm still very floored. All right, I'm gonna put the gain down real low to see if it can be recovered theoretically.